What's going on guys? My name's Travis and this is my dog Sam and this is our 2020 Ram ProMaster. Welcome to our home on wheels. We have been traveling full time since about 2018 and December 2021 is when we started living out of this. It took about a whole year part time building this out and I documented a lot of that along the way, but I am just so excited about how it has turned out and I'm really excited to show you guys the finished result. All right, so one of the first things you'll notice when you come in the van is the sink and stove area. I love having the stove top just ready to go. Uh, the sink works as you would think. Um, so I hold 20 gallons of fresh water uh, for the sink and it goes into a seven gallon gray water tank below. So this you'll find is my bench seating area, uh, which also contains my electrical system underneath. Um, I love to sit here and work. Uh, with my little lagoon pedestal that swivels around and I can look out in front and see the view while I work. So if I need to, I can roll this down and block out the light coming in if I'm working. Um, but a lot of times I love having natural light coming in here, so I will just leave that open. Crack open the windows, let the air flow through. It's a great space. So it was crucial to me to have uh, an actual full desk in this van, plenty of room to work, to write, um, to edit video, and it's very intentionally built out to utilize the space underneath as storage, and it fits right over the wheel well. But the main storage is this compartment, which houses my tripods, um, kind of extra gear, uh, light stands, um, that kind of thing. I ended up adding a 27 inch monitor and it's working really well. I mean, it does swivel and slide out, it is awesome. This is the workspace. So this is where my fridge is housed. Um, and on the other side, got some of my kitchen storage. Underneath here is where you will find my composting toilet, which slides out on 500 pound drawer slides and is hold, held in by this peg. And um, it's very, very easy to clean. But when I do change it out, maybe once a month, um, it's very simple and it's like dumping out dirt. Definitely worth the investment. Um, yeah, it uh, basically acts like a little portable toilet um, that requires very little maintenance and does not smell. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly show you my upper cabinets, uh, which is like the main storage, I would say, in my van. Starting from the back of the van is my charging station, charging cables, uh, signal booster, etc. Most of my clothes that fit in here, jackets and coats and stuff are above, uh, above the cab. Food storage, coffee, more food storage, spices, canned goods, produce, that kind of thing. We got the toiletries. And the last one is where I can monitor my battery, my heater controller, carbon monoxide alarm, and my fan remotes. And I'll just put like extra office stuff like headphones and speaker, my computer stand. When we're driving, we'll go in here. Final corner of the van is the couch slash bed. And it's really easy. It's just a slide out bed that I made, just like that. And then you pull the cushions out and you got yourself a pretty good sized bed here. I can fit all the way across. The bed is about six foot long by 40 inches. Uh, so me and Sam fit very comfortably in the bed. All right, the last thing I'm gonna show you on the build is the upstairs, AKA the solar panels and roof deck. So there's 360 watts total of solar that feed into uh, the 200 amp lithium batteries down below under the bench. And um, 
that's it. I don't know what else to say. Uh, this has been a long time coming, making this van and having it complete and showing you the finished result. I will do my best to link everything in the description box as well if you're interested in some of the products or gear that I used in making the van, but uh, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching and checking out our home on wheels. Any questions for me, hit me up in the comments down below. That's it, we are looking forward to sharing more of our journey from the road and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.